focus on him if you really love him you should know how to express that love to him in ways and manners that you have never done it before say jesus i love you i've just come to love you i've not come to ask for anything i'm not here because of what i need from you i've just come to love you my heart is full of love for you i've come to love you i love you lord from the depth of my heart from the bottom of my soul i love you don't get distracted just focus on jesus he's the reason why we are here he is the bishop of our soul we are the sheep of his pastures he is our good shepherd say jesus i love you thank you for all you have been to me thank you many people slept last night but they couldn't wake up but you woke up and you are in the presence of god you are in the sanctuary you are not in the mortuary say jesus i love you i love you for all that you are and all that you mean to me i love you i love you i've just come to say that i love you i've just come to say i love you i've just come to say i love you thank you lord jesus in moments like this i sing a love song i'll sing a love song to you jesus in moments like this i lift up my voice I lift up a song to you, Jesus. Sing it, I love you. Sing it, I love you. Sing it, I love you.
connection you walk with God where you just love him and because you love him there are certain things you don't do because you love him when you think about how much you love him there are some people you don't hang around with there are some places you don't go there are some things you don't get involved in just because of your love for Jesus until your love for God weighs more than your love for things you are not in the kingdom because the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink it is in his righteousness his peace and his joy in the Holy Ghost let's move from the realm of desire for things to a realm of love for God where we come to church not because we want anything we have just come to love him that is where you will see that your needs will be met without prayer you don't pray for anything you just you just come to love him if you can love Jesus from your heart this morning the issues you are worrying about will be sorted even before you get back to your office I want her to sing that song for one minute again and minutes minutes you know when a man is expressing love to a woman it comes from the heart minutes am i talking to somebody here stop looking around when you are talking about love for jesus concentrate and focus on him imagine him on that throne imagine him on that cross of calvary and say lord i love you let's go singing i love you shallow waters we want to go deeper take us deeper open the world to us and open us to the world make us a quick understanding thank you for your presence there is nothing that is enough to repay you for the love you showed to us on the cross of Calvary while we were yet in sin you came you died for us you paid for our sins in advance hoping that we will realize and come to you there is no love that is greater than this we love you we love you we love you accept our, our offering of love accept our gift of love we have come to reciprocate the love you showed to us accept our love offering we praise you Lord speak to us again make this meeting one of a kind I receive the anointing that makes teaching and preaching easy thank you for clarity and accuracy thank you for your presence your awesome presence in this place we can feel it is tangible take the glory and take the praise in Jesus name of the saints shout aloud amen. amen celebrate our bishop our beloved bishop and our father is that the best? Come on, come on. Give him a mighty clap offering. Thank you, Bishop. We honor you and we celebrate you. We appreciate the pastors and the leaders and the elders of the church with a mighty clap offering. And please take your seats again. Hallelujah. We have been looking at Psalms 23 
from verse 1 to verse 6 such an awesome scripture full of revelation and um, we'll begin we'll continue from where we left off yesterday about the qualities of a sheep psalm 23 i want to read from verse 1 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever amen we have been looking at this scriptural reference you know from yesterday and i made us to understand that for you to survive in these times that we live in you need to be shepherded by jesus because it is dangerous for you to live as a believer manifesting any other thing than a sheep is very very dangerous there are many people that are not sheep in the spirit they are snakes that's why they bite once you touch their tail they bite you some of some of them are dogs they, they bark you know you touch them you speak at them they bark at you and if you don't listen to their barking they they will bite you and some uh lions they don't just bite they don't bark they roar am i talking to somebody here some are a chameleon you know they 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 change their their color today they are hot tomorrow they are cold you cannot be able to identify who they really are you know they, some of them are lukewarm some are hot and some of them are some some there are some that are snails you know they they are introverts once you you correct them they wriggle back into their shell and they don't come out again you know and then you feel bad for correcting them you wonder why they make you feel terrible for correcting them some of the some are tortoise they are too slow in life very slow they are never they never have speed in anything that they do am i talking to somebody here and some are cheetah very fast always in a hurry but headed nowhere in life without direction they are too much in a hurry these there are many people that are manifesting all kinds of things all kinds of spirits am i talking to somebody here but jesus wants us to be sheep jesus wants us to be sheep and i said yesterday that if you were given the opportunity to choose an animal for you to be turned into for 24 hours many of us will not want to be a sheep you will want to choose an, a, an animal that will be able to that you can be able to fight as an animal to defend yourself but actually in this kingdom we don't need to be defended jesus is our defense that's why he is the good shepherd glory to god and the functions of a shepherd amongst other things is to lead the sheep to pastures and water he is the only one that knows where the pasture is he is the only one that knows where the rain will fall you know in amos chapter 3 um, as amos chapter 4 verse 7 and verse 8 the bible talks about how that the lord caused it to rain in one city and he withheld rain from another city and the city that rain fell on was watered and the one that rain did not fall on withered he is the one that knows where the rain will fall for every day of your life am i talking to somebody here he is the one that knows where, where you will find green pastures. He's the only one who can lead you in still waters. Am I talking to somebody here? He is the only one who will prepare a table for you in the very presence of your enemies. So you don't need to defend yourself. You don't need to fight. You don't need to, to try to exert any energy because actually a sheep is defenseless. Like we saw yesterday, a sheep has no defense. Am I talking to somebody here? A sheep is defenseless. They only rely on their shepherd to guide them, to keep them, to, to, to lead them into, into pastures and water, to protect them from wild animals and to guard them at night, whether in the open. 
Psalms 91 said, You shall not be afraid of the terror of, by, by night or the arrow that flyeth by day. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but they will not come near your dwelling. He said, Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked. The reason why you never died in COVID was because the Lord was your shepherd. Am I talking to somebody here? The reason why the enemy, the, the enemy could not have the, the, gain their mastery over you was because the Lord has been your shepherd. The reason why when, when everybody forsook you, when your father and your mother forsook you, your friends abandoned you, the people that you thought could who, who ought to be there for you at your low times, everyone left you and, and you, you, you never expired. You never burned out. You are still here. It's simply because the Lord Lord has been your shepherd ladies and gentlemen am I talking to somebody here the reason why why you are still here even after the bad mouth of people the way they spoil you they talk against you they backbite you even to your helpers the people that were meant to help you your spoilers located your helpers before you and they said some things against you to change the mind of your helpers you yet you are still not helpless it's because the Lord has been your shepherd am I talking to somebody here the reason why you are still there you are still there you are still standing strong you are still there irrespective of the fire and the river and the water that came to drown you my brothers and my sister it's because the Lord has been your shepherd and, and, and that is because you have been a sheep but there are many many people that are manifesting all kinds of things for you to survive the perils of this time, ladies and gentlemen, you need to realize that the Lord is your shepherd. And I made us to understand yesterday that he must be your Lord for you, to, for him to be your shepherd. He must be Lord over your life, Lord over your family, Lord over your business. So you put him first. When you get to the office, before you sign the first paper, you, you put him first. You raise an altar. You consecrate the atmosphere. You lift up a banner of righteousness for your Lord in everywhere you find yourself am I talking to somebody here he must be Lord over your relationship when you are forced to make decisions that does not honor and glorify your Lord you put him first you put him first I told you yesterday of a sudden lady who a brother came to propose to her and she said to the brother let me go to the one who owns this body if he deems it fit for me to share this body with you I will uh, I will marry you she did not say yes I will marry you she went back to the one who owns the body she went back to her Lord and she inquired from her Lord are you giving me permission to share this body with this brother he must be Lord he must be Lord over your finances he must be Lord. Am I talking to somebody here? Over that job, he must be Lord. Over your car, he must be Lord. He wants to be Lord before he can be your shepherd. And for him to be your shepherd, ladies and gentlemen, you must know what it means to be a sheep. Because one of the most difficult tasks, the one of the most difficult tasks is to be a shepherd. Leading people with no brains. Leading animals with no brains. Animals that will see a, a, a car coming on a highway. And they don't know they are on a highway. And they will just be there and chewing their cord. Even when danger is coming. They don't care. They are just there. Am I talking to somebody here? One of the most difficult things to do. Is to be a shepherd. And if you look at the text where we read, everything that we read in Psalm 23 is all about the duties of the shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me. He does this. He does that. Am I talking to somebody here? He prepared a table for me. He, he, he does this. He does that. And there is nothing that the sheep has to do. In all of Psalm 23, everything written there is about the duties of the shepherd. So the sheep has nothing to do. Glory to God. So we looked at the first characteristics yesterday that the sheep or of a sheep, that the sheep is defenseless. They have no defense. Every other animal God created can defend themselves. Snakes can bite. 
dogs can bark lions can roar am i talking to somebody here even a snail that is so fragile can wriggle back into its shell when you touch them tortoise can go back into their shell every other thing can defend themselves but a sheep is defenseless for him to be your shepherd you need to lose your defense you have defended yourself enough ladies and gentlemen it's time to allow him to defend you number two you need to be productive every sheep tells other sheep about their shepherd Am I talking to somebody here? There are giftings and potentials and talent that God has put inside of you that is for his glorification. Everything that God has put in you is for his glorification. That's why the Bible calls us trees of righteousness, the plantings of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Am I talking to somebody here? Every sheep tells other sheep about their shepherd. They don't go spoiling their shepherd to other sheep. It is only goats that, that gossip about their, their shepherd because they are not even loyal at all. Am I talking to somebody here? And number three, sheep are picky eaters. They are picky eaters. They do not eat junk food. Unlike the goats that are known as the garbage collectors of the wilderness because they eat everything in front of them. It is good to be hungry, but it is also good for you to wait to be hungry enough to wait until you get the right meal. It is not every meal that is good for your appetite. Not every meal can satisfy you. Christians who jump on any junk, they can listen to every preacher, go to every church, do everything everybody does. Those are goats. I've never seen a sheep that eat anyhow. Sheep are picky eaters they are picky eaters everything seems to be appetizing to goats they eat cans they eat plastic they eat anything but sheep they eat only grass and the grass needs to be fresh and of good quality that's why the bible says he leads me in the paths of i mean he 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 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he he, he makes me to lie down in green pastures the reason why the shepherd leads the sheep to green pastures is because if the grass is not fresh the sheep will not eat it the grass must be fresh for the sheep to eat it they are picky eaters am i talking to somebody here but for the goat, like I said, everything seems to be appetizing. If you are here, you listen to everything. You, you, are, you, everything entertains you. Then everything will enter you because whatever entertains you enters you. It doesn't matter how 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 appetizing it is, as long as it entertains you, it will surely enter you. And you see, every garbage that is dished out on television have a spirit that follows it every garbage every garbage if you if you spend most of the time listening to bad news the spirit of fear will enter you you will become agitating am i talking to somebody here because of what you have been listening to when anybody says i'm afraid it's because he has had something when anybody is bored it's because he has had something faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the lord and fear also comes by hearing if you have if, if you have been afraid it's because of what you have been listening to everything that enters you will surely will everything that entertains you will enter you when people behave in a certain way it's because they've been listening to something every time in the cool of the day Adam and Eve kept appearing before the Lord for fellowship but when they began to listen to, some, to something else they went to hide themselves all the while they had been naked and there was no worry the glory of the Lord was their covering am I talking to somebody here there was no need for tailor actually tailoring is not part of an occupation created by God tailoring came because of the fall of man because there was a covering that Adam and Eve had in the garden and every time they were coming before the presence of the Lord God never had to call out for them at any time but the moment they begin to listen to something else they began to hide themselves they began to separate themselves and they discovered that they were naked and began to look for a covering for them and for the first time in the history of koinonia god called out for adam for the first time and adam went to hide himself when you begin to listen to something else 
that is not in line with your with your destiny am i talking to somebody here you will stay out of fellowship you become so busy for god you become so scarce nobody sees you in church check what you are listening to because you cannot be listening to your shepherd and be staying away from church check what you have been listening to every time in the cool of the day they came for fellowship God didn't call out for any of them but the moment another voice was introduced into their system they discovered that they were naked and God said who told you that you are naked have you gone to eat of the fruit I told you you must not eat what have you been eating it's good to be hungry it's good to be thirsty but be hungry enough to wait for the right meal Sheeps are picky eaters. They don't eat anything. If every prophet can prophesy to you and you pay attention, it means that you are a goat. You are a goat meat, brother. If every pastor can preach to you and you follow, it's because you are a goat. Sheeps only hear one person and that's their shepherd. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm praying that the Lord will do a surgical operation on our ears. Glory to God in the highest. So they don't eat everything. They don't just eat everything. Even when, even when they come across something new, I mean the sheep, they do not try to see what it is because they don't know where it came from or who made it or if it will be bad for them. Like sheep, God always has something new and fresh for us. But there is only one source and that source must be the word of God. A wellspring cannot be a source of both dirty and clean water. The world only produces clean water. No wellspring can produce dirty and clean water. Am I talking to somebody here? You should only have one voice you listen to. When you eat everything, everything that comes across your way, something is bound to happen. You will have spiritual constipation. Your tummy will rumble. Am I talking to somebody here? But when you eat the meal that is for you, the one that is compatible for your system, the one that will lead you to where God is, is leading your shepherd, because every shepherd must be under the good shepherd to be able to shepherd the sheep of God. Because the sheep does not belong to the shepherd. The sheep belongs to Jesus. Jesus is the good shepherd. So as they submit to the good shepherd, he shepherds them to shepherd the sheep. Am I talking to somebody here? So as Jesus shepherds your shepherd, you need to follow. Can somebody say amen? amen. Number four characteristics of the sheep as I begin to round up is the fact that they hear only one voice. Jesus said, my sheep will hear my voice and a stranger's voice they will not follow every true sheep they hear the voice of their shepherd he said my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me that's those were the words of jesus my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me it's one thing to know god is another thing to be known by god it is even much more better to be known by god am i talking to somebody here when he knows you no stranger will take you away when he knows you it's good to know god but it's good to be known by god the bible is full of all kinds of people but god only spoke about certain people <laughs> he's so he's so he's so he's so i'm telling you he always spoke about certain people he spoke about abraham as his friend he said shall i hide from my friend from my friend abraham what i'm about to do and after Abraham, he came and spoke about Moses to Aaron and Miriam. His brothers, I mean blood brothers. God came to rebuke Aaron and rebuke Miriam for speaking against Moses. That's why familiarity with blood brothers and blood sisters that are called by God is dangerous. That you know them in the flesh does not mean that you know them in the spirit. It's even dangerous for pastor's wives. To speak against their husband. Just because you know them in the flesh. There is a knowing in the flesh. And there is a knowing in of the spirit. There are certain people you know in the flesh. And then you know them in the spirit. You will not speak against them. 
that's why honor is nothing of the physical it's of the spirit you can kneel down and kneel down and pretend that you honor a preacher if you don't have the spirit of honor your kneeling down will not give you a reward or a harvest he said they that honor me i will honor they that despise me i shall lightly esteem honor is a spirit when the spirit of honor comes on you it will not be a pretense there are people who don't know how to kneel down when you correct them they only kneel before you because things are okay but the moment you rebuke them to kneel down their feet becomes too heavy to go down honor is a spirit honor is a spirit God spoke about Job he came to Satan as have you seen my servant Job when God knows you he speaks about you he defends you Moses was not even aware that God rebuked Miriam and Aaron and to tell you the meekness of the heart of Moses he went to plead with the Lord to heal the leprosy of Miriam and God said if other people can go out of the camp for seven days why is she so special let her go out of the camp for seven days be careful of familiarity proximity is not knowledge in the spirit proximity to a prophet is not knowledge in the spirit you only know a prophet in the spirit in the spirit <laughs> you don't know a prophet in the flesh in the spirit you can be too close to a prophet and yet know nothing about him i'm telling you you might think you know him but you don't know him knowledge is of the spirit and it's only the spirit that reveals all things to man he said eyes have not seen and ears have not heard minds have not conceived what god has prepared for them that love him he said but these things are what revealed by the spirit for the spirit searched all things even the deep things of god there are deep things about your prophet you will never know until you browse in the spirit Imagine, there were 7,000 sons of the prophet in the school of Jericho, Gilgal, and Bethel. 7,000 prophetic, highly prophetic sons of the prophet. I mean, microscopic sons of the prophet. Sons of the prophet who knew that their, that their major prophet was about to be taken off. And they knew nothing about it. They did nothing about it. They were not moved. They were gossiping about it because of familiarity they even came to elisha and said to elisha are you aware are you aware that god is about to take our major and elisha said i'm aware hold your peace who will know that his major prophet is about to be taken off and he will not be worrying for impartation he will not be fighting to receive a touch he will not be praying and say oh god i need what he carries before he goes they had a first time revelation of the move of God that their prophet was about to be taken off and they were not bothered familiarity can rob you of destiny impartation am I talking to somebody here that God had to tell Eli Elijah to go to the bush to go and pick a farmer a farmer who had no business in, uh, in the prophetic Elisha had no business in the prophetic he had no prophetic lineage he was even an angry man to tell you how he dealt with Gehazi am I talking to somebody here he had no protege couldn't raise anybody because he had no business in the prophetic when the people who are meant to draw from the oil refuse to draw with God won't pick a stranger Elisha died with so much anointing that they put a dead man in his grave and the dead man resurrected. Even in the grave of Elisha, there was so much oil. Because of familiarity. 7,000 sons of the prophet, none of them was found faithful to receive of the oil of, of Elijah. 7,000 sons of the prophet. Elijah thought he was alone, but God told him, I have 7,000 prophets that have not bowed. They were pure. But familiarity defied them. Familiarity made them unqualified. Because God told Elijah, I have 7,000 prophets that have not bowed themselves to Baal. So don't think you are alone. How can people who are pure, people who are this spiritual, yet unqualified because of familiarity, be careful. Proximity can rob you of destiny encounters. Be careful. Be careful. I don't know why I'm saying this, but somebody needs to hear this. Be careful. Don't think you know him finish. Don't think you have seen everything. You can be this close and yet this far. 
you can be this close and yet this far. You can be this close and yet walled apart. Knowledge is of the spirit. Am I talking to somebody here? Glory to God. Let me tell you, I'm somebody, no matter how you, you, you can preach me from heaven to hell, if, from hell to heaven, if nothing moves within me here, you are just wasting your time. Because deep calleth unto the deep. Am I talking to somebody here? Iron sharpeneth iron, but not all iron are compatible to sharpen other irons. There must be a connection in my spirit for you to bless me. If nothing moves within me, if my fountain does not stir up, if the babies in my womb does not leap for joy when you are preaching, you are wasting your time. You must get to that level where you would not be able to hear anybody. If you are here, you hear everybody. You hear everybody. You hear every dick, dumb, every dick, Tom and Harry because they are preaching on TV. You are a goat, a very fat goat. My sheep hears my voice. And a stranger's voice they will not hear. He said, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them. And they follow me. Who are you following? This is the most important characteristics of a sheep. Listening to the voice of the Lord. A, a white man came to Africa. And then went for this animal, you know, hunting. This animal adventure. And then they got to a particular stream. Where a, they, they met a certain shepherd with his sheep drinking from the water then another shepherd came with a herd of about 200 sheep and they mixed and they began to wonder how will these shepherds know know uh, they have identified their sheep when they have mixed like this while he was wondering about that a third shepherd came with his own sheep and they all mixed they became a thousand and he noticed that all the sheep were drinking water but the three shepherds were busy gisting and talking and he was wondering, he was watching. When it, <coughs> excuse me. when it was time for them to leave, he discovered that the shepherd began to call out for their sheep. And every one of them began to separate themselves from the crowd of sheep and began to follow their shepherd. Even though they came to one river, they came to one stream to drink. When it was time to move, every one of them knew their shepherd they all looked alike it was difficult to differentiate them but they knew the voice of their shepherd how many of us have mixed with multitudes and we have forgotten to identify the voice of who is our shepherd how many of us have left here jam city and traveled out and because you left jam city you forgot where you came from you forgot the songs of the kingdom you belong to and you began to sing another song were they not taken from israel to babylon and they were began they were asking from them to sing for us the songs of zion and they said how shall we sing the lost song in a strange land they knew where they came from and they knew where they were the two places were not compatible. There is a song that they sang in Zion. And the ones who captured them were demanding of them to sing the songs of Zion. And they responded, how? Where is it done that we sing the songs of Zion in a strange land? At least they know. But are we not singing the songs of Babylon in Zion in these days? Don't we go out there to export their dance steps and their music styles and their, their keyboard styles, their drum, their drum styles and then we export it from Babylon and come to use it to praise God in Zion. In Zion we have a song. In Zion we have a sound. Am I talking to somebody here? You can't go play the sound of Zion in Babylon. You don't carry the things that belong to children and give it to dogs. You need to know who you, who you are, who is your shepherd and where you came from. Because his voice will preserve you. There are many voices craving for your attention in these times and season. Life is, is, is shaped in such a way that you are either responding to sound or responding to pictures or responding to voices. 
which one are you responding to which sound are you responding to which pictures are you modeling your life into which voice are you hearing the picture you are looking at is who you become we have a picture every scripture is written in pictorial form until you catch the picture behind the scripture you never become the picture of the scripture the picture you you you, you catch in the scripture is who you become and you need to look at the picture enough to catch the picture behind the scripture to become the picture as we behold him as in a glass we are changed by the spirit of the lord from glory to glory it's time to watch out for the voice can somebody say amen can somebody say amen it's time to watch out for the voice we will continue during the lunch hour stand to your feet and say lord help me may i not follow the voice of a stranger give me the grace to follow only the voice that you have given to me to lead me lift up your voice and pray that prayer for one minute may i not follow the voice of a stranger this is a hard cry of the spirit for the moment forgive me for every wrong voice I have been listening to forgive me for the wrong sound I've been dancing to there is a dance of Python they call it Python dance in the kingdom of darkness when you dance to their tomb you die <laughs> may you not dance to the music that will end your life may you not dance to the music of the marine kingdom May you not dance to the music of the Serpentine Kingdom. They have a sound. We also have a sound. Their sound is the sound of destruction. Our sound is the sound of life. Jesus said, I have come that they might have life. And that they might have it more abundantly. Say, Lord, help me. Help me, give me the wisdom to identify and to discern the right voice to follow. The right sound to listen to the right pictures from scriptures to model my life into may I not be distracted help me Lord and give me the grace lift up your hands and pray from your heart if this is your prayer be sincere about your prayer this is a time of encounter we came for an encounter this is not a child's play we are not here to play games or to gamble with your destiny this is the real deal and the real stuff say Lord help me help me help me I don't want to be distracted there is so many distractions in the system that you wouldn't even know when you have missed it. May I not dance the songs of Babylon and miss my way out of Zion. Give me the grace to remain focused. Help me, Lord God, to align myself. May I not sing the songs of, of Zion in Babylon. Radeshu Kabayash say Lord anything that does not look like you in me Lord take it away evacuate my life overhaul my life search me Lord and know my thoughts try me and know my hearts if there be any wicked way in me Lord lead me to the way everlasting I want to get this thing right I don't want to make mistakes help me Lord cope anash fire take a bullish lift up your hands as a sign of surrenderedness and pray and be sincere about your prayer when there is a man to pray there is a god to answer he said if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways 
then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Shakabala Badash. Rate Sula Kabrate Legiash. Whatever voices I've been listening to that is distracting me, Lord, deliver me. May I not follow the wrong voice. May I not follow the wrong voice. Help me to know the voice of my shepherd. And may I be known of you, Lord. Know me like you know Abraham. Know me, Lord, like you know Moses. Know me, Lord, like you know Job. Know me. Know me, Lord. It's not enough for me to know you. Lord, I need to be known of you. He said, for I know them. My sheep hear my voice, for I know them and they follow me. May I not follow a stranger. May I not follow my desires. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from myself. May I not be my own enemy. Anything that is in me that does not look like you, Lord, take it out. Lord, take it away. Take it away, O oh God. Shalom, Kobeta Mandes Azalatis. Avavala do soprante kodovaris. Ziton kobretele kambada badon shali kobredes. A cambroto so sonfredi la cabayas. Faso to bretele cambredi lo capos. Misa tanka bretele cambretele cobadis. Cayando so sonfayadas. Boro city bratele canvedezos of adis. Avanga vredele cambradele covarizas. Oh, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, O 